How I got 9,054 RPM from an induction motor using high frequency generator. How can the induction motor operate up to 9054 RPM? The rating is 1725 RPM, which is completely over the limit in today's experiment. I'll show you how it was possible. We'll see two types of motor tests. One, permanent magnet synchronous motor with inverter. Two, induction motor. Single phase, four poles. This is a high efficiency 10 kilowatt three phase permanent magnet generator. This is a five kilowatt permanent magnet synchronous motor. I am assembling together First of all, we set it up like a picture for the frequency measurement of this system. Okay, let's set the frequency of the inverter to 30 Hertz. Inverter's frequency is 30 Hz, then 450 RPM. Inverter's frequency is 60 Hz, then 900 RPM. Output frequency is 150 Hz. Inverter's frequency is 90 Hz, then 1350 RPM. No slip, pretty good. Inverter's frequency is 120 Hz. Then 1800 RPM, the output frequency is 300 Hz uh, and 185 volts. Inverter's frequency is 150 Hz. Then 2250 RPM. Inverter's frequency is 180 Hertz and 2700 RPM. There are minor device error, but it's still accurate. Inverter's frequency is 200 Hertz, then 3000 RPM. It may be increased more, but the PMSM test is done now. Stopping the PMSM now. This experiment was great because the inverter and the motor are one set. The purpose of this experiment is to see if the rotation speed of the single phase induction motor can be overclocked depending on the frequency. This is the inductive single phase motor specification to be used in the experiment. As you can see, the specification of this motor is as follows. It increases the drive frequency until the motor reaches its maximum RPM.
I'm going to connect this induction motor to AC120 volt 60 hertz power to measure the factory default RPM. Seventeen ninety six RPM, seventy one RPM higher than the original design of seventeen twenty five RPM. Time to finally test this. Low voltage and frequency, so the induced magnetic field doesn't form enough, so it needs to be turned by hand. Wow, it has just reached incredible rotational speed. Turning off power. Power on again. All right, all done. Turn off power. I could have turned up the frequency more, but I didn't anymore to prevent damage to the motor. Improved RPM speed was 425%. Amazing results. This calculation shows that 6.8% of slip occurred. However, this is an unexpectedly good result. Thank you for your watching.